hello welcome in this short video let us look at the overlap add method for long data filtering that is linear filtering of long data sequences so this is the block diagram for uh, filtering of long data sequences so basically we have the input data and then we do segmentation on it so that we have uniform sized blocks and then we apply dft we get the dft of these blocks and then on these dft blocks we up multiply with h of k uh, the Fourier transform or DFT of the impulse response of the filter and then we get the uh, output blocks in frequency domain and then we apply IDFT to get in output blocks in time domain and then we apply concatenation uh, to get the final output. Now let us look at uh, specific, uh, a specific method known as overlap add method for this segmentation and concatenation components of the long data linear filtering. So we are going to look at overlap add method. So here the main idea is given the input x of n, we have to divide it into blocks of uniform length. Uh, basically we want to take only L values at, for any segment. Uh, however, uh, the actual blocks will have n values. So let us see how do we get n values out of only given, uh, given L values. So here the segmentation is done as follows that is we take the first L values we put it in the x1 of n and then we append m minus 1 zeros so the length is in fact n is equal to L plus m minus 1 and similarly for x2 of n we take the next L values from x of n that is from the original data sequence and then we append another m minus 1 zeros so again x2 of n is also of length n and for, uh, similarly for the we continue the same process for the next blocks. So this is the segmentation process for the overlap add method that is given x of n and then we append m minus 1 zeros to each block that is given the sequence x of n we divide it into uh, x i of n that is for individual blocks of length n of length l and then we append m minus 1 zeros to each block so that the overall length is capital n for each block that is x1 of n will be equal to x of 0, x of 1 and so on up to x of l minus 1 and then we have m minus 1 zeros. Similarly x2 of n will have values from x of l and then up to x of 2l minus 1 and then we have m minus 1 zeros and the same process continues for rest of the blocks. So this one this number of zeros is basically m minus 1 and these are the l values that are actual data points. So the next step is we apply apply dft to so we apply dft to xi of n that is if we go back to the block diagram of the linear filtering of long data sequences so once we have the input blocks we apply dft we get xm of k or xi of k so therefore so it gives us x m of k and then we apply again the same uh, dft to the impulse response of the filter and then multiply that to xm of k so we get our ym of k is equal to h of k that is the frequency response of the filter multiplied by this dft sequence xm of k and the values of k are from 0 to n minus 1. Now here is the important point regarding overlap add method because x of m that is the original data that is x of n the original data usually has non-zero values that is it usually has values non-zero values now it could be zeros but usually uh, it has uh, real values now we appended m minus 1 zeros to each block so uh, the influence on uh, y m and hat that is when we have this y m of k we apply idft that is y y m of k we apply idft we get y m of n hat that is the output here it is y m n of hat and then these outputs that is these uh, output blocks in time domain are incomplete that means uh, to make it complete that is we have to add 
first m minus 1 values of the next block it is y m plus 1 of n hat to last m minus 1 values of our current block. So, because we have zeros appended in x of n that is uh, x1 of n and x2 of n and x3 of n we have zeros appended artificially to make its length equal to n. So, its influence is that the DFTs that is uh, by m of k are basically incomplete that is they do not represent the actual uh, filtered output of x1 of n, x2 of n and so on. So, to make it actually complete we have to do uh, addition that is we have to add m minus 1 values the first m minus 1 values of the next block to the last m minus 1 values of the current block that means it can be explained as follows. So, in order to produce the output sequence y of n, what we do is we look at the uh, in individual output block, individual output blocks that is y1 of n, y2 of n, y3 of n, and so on. So, for the first l values, we put them as it is in the output, but for the next m minus 1 values, we add the last m minus 1 values of y1 of n with the first m minus 1 values, first m minus 1 values of y2 of n, and then we put them in y of n. And next, uh, and the next l values and the next l values come directly from y2 of n now, uh, so to in order to generate the output sequence y of n what we do is we look at the individual output blocks then we for the first block we get the first l values and we put them directly in the y of n and for the next m minus 1 values we add them with the first m minus 1 values of y2 of n and then we put the sums in y of n uh, and then we uh, and then we bring the next l values and then we bring the next l values of y2 of n when we put them in y of n however for the last m minus 1 values of this y2 of n we uh, add this first m minus 1 values of y3 of n and then replace the last m minus 1 values here so that means the number of values here the first l values correspond to the linear filtered output for the first block and the next l values it is the next L values correspond to the linear filtered output of the second block that is x2 of n and then similarly for x3 of n, x4 of n and so on. So, in terms of actual sequence y of n can be written as follows that is the first L values that is y1 of 0 to y1 of L minus 1. So, that will be the first L values that is y1 of 0, y1 of 1 and so on up to y1 of L minus 1. And for the next m minus 1 values, we have y1 of l that is the value from first block plus the first value from the second block. Similarly, y1 of l plus 1 plus the second value from the second block and so on up to we continue up to y1 of n minus 1 that is the last value of the first block plus y2 of m minus 1 that is m minus 1 value of the second block and then for the rest of the values uh, from y2 of m we continue until we have y2 of l minus 1 values that is we have y2 of m and then we continue until y2 of l minus 1 that is the lth value of y2 and from the next value onwards that is we have y2 of l plus y3 of 0 and so on so this process continues that is at this location that is we have y2 of l plus y3 of 0 and then we have uh, more summations until uh, this value until we get to y2 of n minus 1 so and then we continue the process so thus finally we get the output sequence y of n again to summarize uh, we have looked at the linear filtering of long data sequences specifically using the uh, overlap add method so the main idea in overlap add method is uh, segmentation of the input sequence that is we take uh, l values uh, each of l values and put them in separate blocks and then we append m minus 1 zeros to each block so that the length of each block is n and the next step is we apply dft to each of these blocks and then we get xm of k and then we multiply this xm of k 
with h of k that is the dft of the impulse response of the filter and then we get the output blocks in frequency domain that is ym of k and then we apply idft we apply idft on ym of k we get our ym of n or ym of n hat so for this exam for this method that is overlap add method ym of n hat or ym of n are actually same so since we are appending zeros in the inputs that is for the input blocks uh, we have to uh, basically rectify the uh, effect on the output so in order to do that what we do is we add the first m minus 1 values of the next block of the output to the last m minus 1 values of the current block that is uh, we take the first m minus 1 values from y2 of n add them to the last m minus 1 values of y1 of n and then we get the values of y of n from uh, l to n minus 1 and uh, then we continue the same process for the rest of the blocks that is uh, for the first l values we are direct we take values directly from the first block y1 of n y1 of l uh, that is y1 of 0 to y1 of l minus 1 and for the next m minus 1 values we have y1 of l plus y2 of 0 that is the lth value um, that is l plus 1th value to plus the first value of the second block and then we continue until y1 of n minus 1 plus y2 of m minus 1 and then for the next values that is y2 of m to y2 of l minus 1 uh, we have unique values from the second block and then for the next m minus 1 values we have y2 of l plus y3 of 0 and then y2 of l plus 1 to uh, plus y3 of 1 and so on so we uh, thus we construct the output sequence y of n in the overlap add method thanks for watching